video settings. Can you guys see me? I hope you're still there. So my computer blurped on me and we got a green screen of death, which is what happened. But I'm hoping that now five it's gonna be okay. All right, cross fingers. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me do music again. We're gonna do here we go. Quickly adjust my settings because that all got messed. Well, poo, poo, poo. I know. I don't know what happened. So basically, I don't know. My computer's poop. So I got a green screen of death on my computer, and that usually happens when packets are dropped. My husband built my computer, so I have to talk to him about this because something. That has, this is the first time it's happened during the stream, but it is not the first time this has happened. The video card error thing. Yeah, did I try turning it on? I did, and it didn't. The video card thing, just turning the monitor off and off, that's gonna. All right, let me fix this real quick. Dust. Property. But I'm glad you guys stuck around. That's that makes me hopefully some more of you stuck around. So that the other thing. So what all did you get? Did you hear me when I was, when I had green screen? Could you still hear me through the mic? Was it just a visual thing for me? Cause I couldn't see anything. I can't just, I can't. All right, let's do this. Good. Properties. Thank you. I'm glad that you're back. Cause still an odd audio drop occasionally. Okay, I'm gonna write all this down and let Mike know. Not sure what to do about the audio drop. Writer. Oh, and. All right. Focused. Focused. Go. All right. We're good. We're back. We're good. From the mic, the background music is affected. Okay. Two. They really don't. Started and we're fine. Okay. Everything went off. Well, that's interesting. Never had that happen before. Slam Gwinnis. Gwinnius. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Let's get right to this white. We're just gonna jump back in like nothing happened. Yay. Part two. Alessandra, how are you? Thank you so much for the follow. I'm gonna put a few drops in there. We don't need much. And I'm gonna actually go back and turn down the brightness of this. But white as always gets blasted out in the better much better okay ink is still coming out it is actually no sorry primer is coming out primer sticks a lot easier than ink all right let's put on the mask so I'm gonna write down different things that happened to the stream first we had a mic dropping we had a quiet mic. Quiet mic and thick. And we also had a green screen of death. There we go. I'm writing it all down. 
Any ideas for the colors for the paint along yet? No model newbie because I, I haven't even gotten the model yet. I need to get the model first. When, once I have the model, I'll give you guys a list of colors that we'll my, most likely use. All right. Okay, we're gonna paint right here. Ooh, that's loud. Why is that so loud? It's blowing in through the cracks. That's why. Feel that a little better. Nice and white. These are really white there. All right. Take that off carefully. I just want to dry that before I mess with that. Let's, let's dry that with the airbrush. a little bit more white. There we go. And I'm just for giggles, I'm gonna give this a little bit more white primer. Under the bum. Just a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's take that out. You had loud music and the music got louder when I... Okay, that's something I know he can fix. So that's something to do with the scenes. Different. Good to know. Twin Twin brought a new cheap, a really cheap airbrush with a compressor on, just try it. Um, try it on um, models you don't care about or models that are cheap. Um, Bones minis are really good to, to practice on. Okay, we're peeling carefully, carefully. Present. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Bee, take a bee. Okay, now we're, I'm gonna get my brush out. I'm pretty much done with mine. That was the most important part right there is to get that really dark, really white, really good. And bye. Yeah, isn't that cool? We just did that with a silly putty. And again, just paint on the silly putty, just mix it right in. Yeah, read the bones, cheap minis. Practice when you're priming, practice painting while you're priming. That's the other thing we do. Get this clean. Dump in the little dump cup that we've got over there. Get to get some. Soak it up. Always like a paint with white paint. Use job. Something I can't do. Clean. Rub that out. Off afterwards. You're always. Considering one of those air filter boxes. Yes, Rintwin, get it. The air filter boxes are really nice. 
especially if you have a way to vent into a window. I, if you look, hold on a second. There's this piece of silver dryer vent and I put that on the back of my, my box and I vent out that window. And so it's nice, especially because I don't want toxins in my room with the geckos, especially. All right, I see the piece of white on the Advice my mate game gave me was to get a cheaper compressor brush on Amazon, just under 100 pounds, and brush to prime and practice. I agree. I agree, but you might find that the cheap one does just exactly what you need. People make a lot of hype about airbrushes. Um, and the thing is that really, sometimes it just boils down to personal preference. I've got the Badger. This is the Badger. Um, 105 Patriot 105 and it's exactly what I need and I use it a lot sometimes I use the infinity find that it's really finicky hard to clean and I just prefer my badger you know all right I'm gonna use a brush to come down in uh, let's try to keep a couple of these little hobby and I like the wedge ones for by the airbrush because crevices better Gotta take care not to scratch the sides. See here. That's what you did. You got a real good deal. Awesome. Oh shit. Model newbie says, and JJ says hi. Hi JJ. Hi JJ. Have a good night. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Polo says, uh, Rintwin, you can fi uh, find some exercise sheets. Oh, yes. That's what I did. Um, there's exercise sheets. I can't remember. It's like Learn to Airbrush. I don't remember. You can Google airbrush practice sheets and go on, go online and do them. Print them out and do them, and it will really, really help no matter what airbrush you use. Why isn't that coming out? It's not. But I, this is what calls for the uh, little dental thing here. Scratch that off. Some white paint at the bottom of this. I'd, oh, got it. Instead of blowing that little pieces of paint through the airbrush, I'll dump it and try to wipe it out so that way I'm not blowing paint chunks through the airbrush unnecessarily. That will clog everything. White takes a long time to get out of the airbrush, but the Steinal Res, let's, let's show you how quickly the Steinal Res cleans. Look at that, clean, clear. Let's get all of that and see, yep. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, I can set this aside now. Put the dust pot aside. I think I can turn off my airbrush. Now we're gonna paint some more. Really, putties on. Fix to it, hopefully. Probably ease it out with my. Okay. And another thing you can do, gently get lint. I just, big old piece of lint, airbrush to the top of this bowl. That we might go do a glaze of paint. All right. Now, ready to paint. Get out. By the way, guys, did you see that Broken Toad just did a big pre order? They were one of my favorite brushes, um, but then they went out, they, like just as I discovered them, they stopped making them. They just did a new, pre, they did a pre-order, they sold out of their pre-order like I think the same day. Kind of crazy. But I got in on the pre-order and I ordered two sets of broken toe brushes, some Winsor Newtons and some Raphael 4808s. 4808 or 4804, one of those. Okay. 
All right, I've got three. So Windsor Newton number two. And looking at my chickadee, and I want this breast right here to be um, beigey colored. So, and I'm gonna use, this is Olive Flesh by Pro Krill. Kind of a bone color, which is perfect. That on with the brush, because Pro Krill's nice and easy to thin it some so that it's not 100%. You can also go to any craft or bookstore and get an adult coloring book. Markers, yeah, you can practice brushing with markers. So I'm gonna leave this part up here more toward the white. But right now, <laughs> we'll talk about it afterwards. Mostly things are better now though. And it just lays over gray and white on me a little bit. King, maybe some hybrid. Thick. I'm gonna use, I have a drying retarder, so I'm gonna just use this to thin, thin out my edges so that I have smoother edges so that things are can dry. I can basically not have a crunchy edge there. These, this um, Pro Krill is very opaque. So that's another reason why I'm kind of wondering if thinning it out messed it up. Not messed it up. Whites are a little blown out. Yeah, they are. Well, let me try miss. Try. There, that's better, huh? Better than it. Technology, people, is not my thing. Look like he's fluffy and feathered. Are so good. And I'm gonna layer a little bit more where there is. See where there's a like a bump. There's a bump here. That way I can kind of keep my um, volumes, my volumes. Olive looks like olive. It's like olive. It's supposed to look kind of like, I don't know, it reads as cream to me. Olive is like green. Oh, like you're saying it's not white. Oh, get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. In my personal. Yeah, this olive flesh is a really nice color. I think you're going to get carried away and forget the time. Figure. I agree. I agree. One of those. I think it's going to sell pretty quickly, actually. So I'm going to be doing an article for um, the Figure Painter Magazine, I think, and uh, I just scratches on him right here. I got to figure out how to fix that. Figure Painter Man Magazine contacted me and asked me if I wouldn't do um, an article for them. So I was thinking this model as the uh, model I'm gonna do. Oh, it's pretty like. It's 
Olive doesn't look like bright white any longer. Oh, good. Nice and thick here. See some scratches. I don't know if it's. Can you guys see those two scratches right there? Not sure if it. What to do about it. Hide it with. Oh, yeah, good. This it is let, letting me cover it a little bit with. Thick enough to cover it. Little scratches. All right, we'll just work it, work it, work it. Might stop to take a photo here. Got so far. You guys get. Now, back here on the birdie's focus, birdie bum, um, I think I'm going to a little bit of this graphite color, mix that, and a little bit of this nacar, which is kind of like a off-white, but it's got a little gray in it. Ah, oh, Dead Man Rip, thank you for the follow. Diomedes, hello. Hold on, I gotta step in chat. Do you think more expensive paint brushes make an impact or a difference in your painting? That's such a tricky question, because yes and no. When I can find good ones that last, yes, but it's so hard that I would say no, so I just use the cheaper ones because that it's so hard to find good paint brushes, so I just give up. Like. Even Windsor Newton's starting to like get lower in quality. Feathering is definitely a technique. Is that what I was doing? Like hard and Steinbeck bolos. All right, let's do the snake car. This should help cover the scratches that were on it. Booty. Holy. So the thing about Gale 75 is it's very, very thick and good to cover, good coverage. Very opaque as well, too. So I get you. God, tons. Oh. Diomedes! But I think you need to get you people. Crazy. Let's get in here with this gray. Back toward the back. We're going to have this gray on top of the cups. Still reading at white, but it's barely perceptible gray. White. Feathering it in. <laughs> Are we gonna start with the bird puns? We are. Better back there, did it? Like a lot. Belly. Ray. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Tell me where I can put. Let's put this in place. Where, I'm gonna put this right in the green foam right now. I don't lose it. There, it's in the foam. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I know, but trust me, this model is so fragile. I hate it when I have bad drown bone. <laughs> Yes, 
Exactly. So it just tells me I need to be a lot more careful. Would that would have happened if I wouldn't have streamed it? Absolutely. It would happen no matter what because how my life goes. Kind of wet blending at this point into here with the cream and beigey colors. Wet blend. Important part is that we're getting getting the tones mapped in. Rush, look at that. It's not holding a point. That's why I'm saying like Windsor Newton pay a lot for these doesn't doesn't hold a point for that long that's what I need I need a brush that it carries a point anytime you are hard on brushes see that's the other thing it's all about temperament I, I vote I have a bad temperament I don't clean my brushes and that's a big failing as a as an artist is that I'm very hard That on top of the gray to get the definition. For boot. All right, good. Heck. Now, I want the impression that this is soft. So I need to add a little bit of creamy ivory to, to this ivory, ivory, ivory. Ain't angry, exactly. No. Where's the other top wing? Did it bring, yes it did, and we couldn't find it. That's the other thing. That one is lost in the studio somewhere. I, I put it somewhere for safekeeping. I just had it today, just today, and it's somewhere. So that's why that's why you might sense some extra, extra frustration sounds. I already bought the new broken toad brushes. I got a set of two sets, and I am very excited. Okay, so I'm only gonna put a little bit of this lighter color on the bigger highlight. out a little bit. I think I need to add a little bit of darker tone actually. Almost like a peachy. Look at this. Like a peach tone. But let's try let's try Moonray Flesh. It's got mm, mix Frost Chestnut with the ivory and see what happens. All your brushes are anti Bob Ross brushes. Yes. <laughs> they make accidents, not so happy ones. Exactly. All right, yeah, that's the good color right there. It's kind of a very soft brown, very soft brown. That, oh. how that makes that look fluffier. This down here. Wet blend. Yeah, the warmer tones do add life, don't they? Oh, you know me, like I like my realism and models. I like to like it's gonna fly away. I don't I don't kind of the, the trends right now in mini painting is to get things looking very like an illustration. And it and it looks good. Brush. Alright, we're gonna dish this brush.
my scale 75 brush. I barely use this one. That will work better. Okay. That point. That's just one twirl. I don't like fighting. I like fighting brush. Redeemed, play a song from the sound library. Yes, let's do that. Hold on, let me finish reading chat real quick. Flesh sword, I dry brush everything. Now I have a small collection of what I call bra brush brushes. Oh, uh, that's awesome. What are you gonna, are you gonna try? Yes, I'm definitely gonna. That one. Okay, so let's, how do you spend points? Use music, doesn't seem to work. So just tell me. What we have, we have EDM, we have Japanese metal, we have kind of a Japanese pop sounding stuff. And it is backstretch time. Thank you, Make Right. It is backstretch time. And it, so tell me what you think you would like for music. All right, I'll tell you, we've got some lo fi hip hop kind of sounding stuff. J metal. Okay, I like it. We'll do, we'll do a couple songs of J metal. How's that? All right, let me stop this music. Got my playlist. I like I like the idea of people being able to spend points for more fun, more interactive. All right, here's Japanese. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get up and take a stretch break. Good time for it. Okay. Hi, Miss Half Damage. Oh, so the demon chick you're working on a huge hole appeared in your arm. How does one fix that without strip? Let it dry back and kind of stipple the paint on carefully. So that you make kind of a little pool in the hole. And let that dry. Just thin layers, do that over and over. That's what I would do. But, or if you have an airbrush, let it dry. Brush back over it. All right, stretch everybody. Get all the pops and cracks out. Ooh, that was good. I have some water somewhere around here. My water break, but I do not. Stretchy stretch. All right. Flesh says, I never really sit and paint display piece models. I do war games. Yeah, and a lot of people don't do play models on Twitch. So I and I don't I don't always get a lot of people watching on Twitch for display models. So that's why I wanted to do this because people don't do it enough. And I think it would be it's good to learn because all the same skills that you learn from display models can be used in the gaming models. They feel really nice gaming models. <laughs> You're good on the sofa at 2 a.m. No problem. All right, so I don't have a, another side for the chickadee. So I'm making this up based on the first side. Make up some of that warm tone back again. It does add some, doesn't it? Okay. Add her skin tone back in too, it'll make a difference. That's gonna play on that. Bird is painting up pretty quick. Let me take a picture of it. Got this new app called Camera Plus 2. App right here. And it works like a dream. I can adjust the apertures of things. Auto. Okay. You're so annoyed because you're proud of the wing. Start over. Yeah, you can do it. You can. You don't have to strip. I almost never strip. Hi, darling. 
go for the nitty, and even then you go for the gritty, dirty, realistic style. That's good. I like I like realism in, in any painting. So, fun, I think. I think it's also surprising. People, see, they're like, oh my gosh, it looks like a piece of art. on that gray spot that's down there. All right, chickadee. I'm gonna add some wider, lighter, whiter colors to little bone feathers. Get a gray too. right here is not natural paint in this direction. This is me painting this for you guys so you can see. I wouldn't normally hold the mini like this. I'm gonna take off glasses so I can just make sure things are at least sort of blended down here. Quite a lot of feathers. You guys remember those gnomes I painted? I'm pretty, did I paint, I did not paint those on stream, did I? So this is, yeah, I don't, my, this might be one of my first big play mini. That's so cute right there with his little booty feathers. Let's add little highlights on all of the feathers just to so keep that going. The wing is gray. Timing makes a big difference, doesn't it? Timing kind of helps you define where, where the values are going to be, and then it kind of helps you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Leg right here. Okay, he's looking soft. Isn't he looking soft? Is this my imagination? My not wearing glasses. Feather, feather the feathers. We talked about. Those little brown nuances are gonna come through the paint. You're not gonna perceive them, but you're gonna feel them. What does that mean? You're gonna, you're gonna perceive them. You're gonna perceive. Them. What a beautiful piece. Thank you. It's Jan, how are you? The network pretty or like this. Well, maybe you should try. I think you'd be surprised at how much you like it. Thank you. It's a different headspace, I think, too. And um, you know, it's interesting how models bring things out in you. Because you have to kind of get into the Face of paint, pretty. We're gonna go with 
go look at the reference. Paint the floof. One must become the floof. Yes, exactly. Funny, exactly. Bird. Um, okay, I'm gonna try something. This is the gray, and instead of using white on the edge of his, his gray, little It doesn't go with this bird at all, does it? Bit of it. We do need a little bit of the white, and I think I'm gonna go with some to try the white. We can happen. Put it in. There. Wavy here. Thought you did part of it. I think I did do part of the gnomes on stream. I just can't remember what I did. What I did. Did I do the face on stream? I think I did. I did maybe the hat and the outfit off. Okay, let's try this. This is white. need to be some black in this as well. Wait, okay, that's not quite me. That's violet. Ooh, what if I put that on there? That would have been a bad mistake. So... It's right in front of me. Double star, so uh, model newbie says, me too, Rebel Star. It was wet when it fell, but gone dry. Oh. Uh, we show she black cat chickadee is looking awesome. Thank you, Sinner. Thank you. Do you have black ch black cat chickadees in your area? I notice that it's not applying with the brush in any way. Add a little bit. Add, we could add a little bit of dark blue. We're going to add just a smidge of dark blue so that the paint isn't so. Um, water repellent, it's being hydrophobic right now. Top of, oh, come on. Ooh, that's good. So this is a little bit of dark blue and I'm gonna mix this with my ink just to give it some, hold on to the model with. Nice and refreshing. Someone, watch someone painting something not war related. I oh, no. No, I'm not a fan of war. I'll paint something every now and then or related, but I think there's enough of that in the world. Does need that little blue, doesn't it? I always make that a blue base and I'm gonna just put Try to cut up. I 
Alright, and then just this glue on the top of his beak because that's dark and this. Good. Very nice. Now we'll use more of this blue feathers because it does go well with it. It was great sitting and painting with you and Josh and it was fun. Yes, it was fun. And I'm so glad that you, you know, I got to meet you. A lot of fun. So, um, and it's talking about this little kind of painting jam that me and Josh from Mini together did together. Had some other people there. I didn't, I didn't do that much painting. I was kind of like, kind of dragging that by that time in the con. Just thinking that I should paint some of this light, maybe, and then out the dark later. I left the outer rim of the of the eye. Left it. Um, I left it gray. Help me out. It is gone. The other nice thing about these paints that I'm using, they're nice and matte. Hopefully, that matte will both kind of help me cover. Back to the ivory, the lightest ivory We've got right here with a little bit of gray mixed in. I will go back to chatting. Fix this. Part and fuzz that out so it lights up. Corrupt. Straight line. There are no straight lines in nature. <laughs> oh, you never did explain. You said Twitcher before because for the stream guide, it's used for bird watchers. I didn't know that. I thought you meant like a Twitch streamer. How funny. No, I'm a, I'm a Twitcher, so don't feel bad. I just actually started doing more bird watching here. It's awesome. Going out in nature, really great for anxiety. Gosh, guys, have anxiety like me. We're going to be looking for everything that's going to help. barely hear me. I'm sorry, Jan. I don't know what else to do. We can turn down the music. I turned down the music. Thought I can. Yeah. 
see if I can turn down the music. In. There we go. That's better. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Music's not so crazy. We'll try. Pop. Much better. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good night, Rebel Star Raider. Thanks for watching. Thank yes, and thanks to Cosmic Cubicle. That was super. bit of a get that with a little bit of gray mix mixed with that black blue so I really like that yeah I would say you don't need to worry about into Twitter I would say that I I'm a twitcher who twitches with twi with twi God. Okay. Hey, right, birdie. He could show up a lot better, didn't it? I like that softening right there. This part of the less Japanese. That little bit of feathers that is right by his beak. important to hey loved if you're doing classes at ReaperCon you're so taking them I'm definitely doing classes at on again Luscious or used uh, used uh, purpose of gaming as an incentive to get things painted. Slowly come to the realization that you kind of paint slowly, so it doesn't matter about the game use. I just paint painting. That's why I think that you should really consider doing some display piece. Find some companies that you love, and some companies that like really excite you. That you're like, oh my gosh, but be careful because like get the bug and you'll be wanting to paint more and then you'll find out that there's so many amazing play money companies out there check out tiny leds cartoon minis um radia miniatures um ones that i love Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I go reference. I want green screen. Here we go. My my version L. Print out didn't come. But gray around. That makes his eye look more black and it is. Ooh, okay. Definitely not sh Okay, I'm gonna take this gray, put it this blue. Workshop ate all your money. 
<laughs> I understand. Parker. Workshop is a money eater, huh? So. A bit lighter gray. Better. Okay, now for the ball of the eye, you can actually see the light of my you can actually see with the light of my overhead light there is already a reflection there. You need to actually paint that in and I need to say actually like five more times that sounds great right let that dry I used a grayish whitish to start we're going to do this too Eyeball down. Come on, brush. Go to a point. I read. Reading. Back into that blue, black color and that little highlight in the lighter color, stippling it, that way it's like, like I can control how dark it is, and then get even lighter. Yeah, there are a lot of mini makers out there for sure. Games Workshop ate all my money, they steadily increasing their miniature releases. Such good ones, too. I mean, hey, you know, you can make display minis out of Games Workshop minis. I'm just saying. I'm going to take this white. This is white. Actually, no, I've got my... Yeah, no, I want to use this white because the white in my thing here is ink and I don't want to risk it running. Because this is much less likely to run. Oh, did my music kick? Nope, it's still going. It's lighter come on there's a little ball that gets caught in the cap on these on um, let me mute myself one second dang thank you for the host gypsy jan how are you thank you okay i think i need to choose that host there we go we got dried paint in there that's why it's not hmm. a little bit that'll be hi d ray t oh td it's td wow you're you're up at a normal time for an australian action <laughs> The little reflection dot. Bird. Yep, that looks good. One. Party. Go ahead and glaze that back if it's bright, so it looks bright to me. Cute. 
painting uh, Tinkerbell, her wings broke off and her ponytail broke off, but I'm gonna be fixing those. One of the wings is somewhere in the studio. I don't know quite where it went, but I had it just today. It means it's here. <laughs> so I like that. Flush Sword says, I mean, I love them. They do make amazing miniatures. Still listening? Around. Yes. <laughs> Um, let me look at my chickadee again. A little bit of white. White paint. Look like a bird? Bird, doesn't it? white is a little bit whiter than the ink I even be able to yep, I can use it as a highlight for my other white there are some really light small scratches Good. My dad is one um, where he passed. Love birds. He's the one who got me in bird watching. All right, I noticed that there is a bit of. Add white to my ivory instead. I can soften. Brush it. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? I don't know if you can see this. The camera might not be able to pick it up. But it's actually causing it to look like actual feathers, doesn't it? Quick question with it being a larger scale model. Do you need the reflection dot in the eye yeah paint everything paint everything so you can control the direction of the light making rolled brush strokes here over my ivory and to out the Volumes, feathers, and make soft. So, all right, let's. Sculptor did such an amazing job on this. I the justice help the sculptor's hand. Great, I feel like part of the bird did. Oh my god, did you see what I just did? Right on the face. Thankfully this is up if I get it wet. Are you kidding me? What's happening. Ink just straight up coming off. It is. Go back with our ink. Sure. Life. 
activated right away with that paint on top of it. Little baby tiny feathers down over top of this rope that's around his neck. One of the things you'll see me do is make mistakes, fix them, mistakes, fix them. Okay, try not to freak out. That's the most important thing. I know that some of you guys probably freaked out and thrown your model across the room. I know that is a thing. Don't do that. Try not to do that because you can fix it if you make a mistake. I'm here to show you. I just did. I blopped paint straight up on his face. And then I got rid of it. That's why you use Procurl Transparents. <laughs> That's true. Procurl Transparents are nice. In fact, let's get out the Procurl Transparents. Probably do a glaze of the transparent over his, um, over his head and his area, whatever. Add a little blue to that. Transparent blue. And this will hopefully take away that shininess. I don't like this bird is super shiny. Look at that. And open this. I did not. Everything is fixable. Some things take a therapist. Yes. <gasps> yes. And therapy is good. Go. Oh. main problem is dyspraxia. Oh. <laughs> I, I never realized maybe that's what it is. I just learned about dyspraxia recently for you guys who don't know what it is. It's like kind of what, what we, what slush the sword described. Did I lose the stream again? Are you kidding me? Patience. I'm still here, pun. You guys can see him. Still there? So. Bye. Right. Things are open. Back. Says I'm live. Oh. I'm having all sorts of problems. Am I still there? We're back now. It just was like, I don't know what happened. I didn't go, waited for you. Dropping for everyone or just me? It's not dropping for me. Like I'm showing I'm not having any packets lost or anything. So I don't think it's me this time. I think it might be Twitch. This it is for everyone, I think, Darth Molinex, because everybody else was saying that they felt like they were dropped also. With the transparent and I'm going over some of this so that it's not so so shiny black you guys can still see me refresh helped and a twitch glitch Twitch glitch Glad it wasn't me. 
Dang, if I don't get unlucky, I have those kind. Of All right, notice it's drying a little less shiny. Hot there. Okay. Put that dry. Hopefully that will. Well, so we were talking about dyspraxia, and I was saying how maybe that's what I have that too. I seem to throw things around a little bit. When I don't mean to. Even the adverts died. That's a sign of it. <laughs> oh no. Are, you, are we back though? Good. Give it the spiggity another little hot spot. Paint these things to be like gems. Hot. Right. Now we're going to go in with gray. Same thing is the back of the chickadee is soft gray. Got a very, very pretty gray. This is probably the right color right here. Darker. Instead of this color. We know if we're still here, putting properly, having a fit. The audio issues doubled. Oh no! Well, I know that the, one of my issues is that I stopped. I stopped my music because my music was. Um, I feel like maybe that was causing me I had extra packets to have to deal with uploading. This music seems better though. There, so I just turned it back on, so hopefully you can again. All right, I'm gonna get a darker gray. I'm gonna use gray right here for the back of him. Add some colors in. Oh, that's a nice dark gray. Still here. Feel like there's the audio issues, or is it is it better? A lot of other people who painted this model painted it as a little robin, did it as a sparrow, but I think it's sculpted to be a chickadee. So I'm gonna... Yes, we conquered the end times with the sound of music. Good. Glad you can hear that. Try not to touch the legs. I'm gonna make this darker than it probably would be. I want it to show up. I want it to be dark. Out of this covered by her body and legs. Mm. 
part here well. See the general shape of the bird. It definitely looks like a member of the TEIT thing. I think that's funny that you managed to get around the those sensors. <laughs> yeah, they are. I believe they are. Good. Gray. Spot here. At this point, I am just base coating. Lock in my colors a little bit. Figure out what colors. This feather right here, I think, is supposed to be. Go ahead and switch. My transparent black blue. Black. Black-ish. Again, I'm just base coating colors locked in so that I can go in and detail them out later. Oh, I just got cut it off her wing. Wings are going to be lighter colored, so I don't want to get any colors. I'm going to get back here with black. That's too much blue. What did happen? Blue overpowered it. I gotta add more black to my my transparent. Go trans black. Thank you, Rainer. Hello, how are you? There, that's better. Hey, I'm back again. I keep going down. Maybe we should call the stream. What do you guys think? Might be a good spot to film. Tell me what you think. We can we can call it here? Gray. Go back in with lighter colors them out. Start with that. Painting Cricks, thank you for the subscription. Write that down. And it is. How are you, Painting Cricks? Thanks for all the teaching. I appreciate that. Oh. Slowly getting this number up, this right here up in above my finger. And that number gets to, well, even if it gets to 200, I might still do give away because that's still a lot, right? Holy cats are still online. We're supposed to have another half hour or so close to it, painting cricks, but um, there's a chance we might have to end early because we've been having technical issues again. Rotating. Not a fan of technical issues. Bird is almost done though. Bird is making good progress. Bird is word.
B. Think. Bit of overbrushing. The leggies. gray Eatsies. I think his paws black everything seems to have fingers crossed stabilized now all right let's hope let's hope I'm not happy about this flash of sore wow thank you for the subscription I really appreciate that and you're your uh, presence on the stream has been really nice. Everybody here who's been here, thank you. Especially through my technical AUR. Mad love. If anybody is still here through this, I really appreciate you. I had like 50 some people, and then, of course, all the technical issues, everybody's like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> but again, also. Wednesday night is one of those nights that drops a little bit in um, viewership because of the lateness that later of a stream. People have to work. Pause and that made thing. That. Or, Bird like there we go there's a hides that all right now this is the part where I need to paint kind of little stripes on him little ivory stripes let's use the olive Lateness tries not to look at two points. Oh, well, I really appreciate you staying up, even if it's very late for you. You. Got some longer. bunch of those and highlight the that wing feathers because it's striping going good ivory the olive that I'm using I might need to get back in Do a couple layers so that it's not so. Those, yeah, you know how I'm using the side of my brush. Catch. Oh shoot! If I make a mistake, go back and make it look like you did it on purpose. That. He's gonna your bird. I'm gonna get gray back. I'm gonna fix brush work here. Oh.
think with ivory up here. Russian. This bit. Spider. We need to have variant variables. That. That feels more, doesn't it? That little stripe that I just added helps. Feathers. Beauty. Been so much more relaxing than watching so-called professionals screaming at each other. Oh my goodness, yeah. Good. We always talk about how like I'm like the Bob Ross of kind of at least some people have said that. It's funny. Not a bad thing. Alright, so all of this up here kind of just be this lighter gray don't want to do much highlighting edges yeah that needs to stay looking Something about the ivory that's not doesn't look right. Chalky. That's what it is. And on the bird feet, just a smallest little edge highlight like still not paint that Better. Now this back, all of this. I'm giving it lines. Okay. Bob Ross AMSMR. Yeah. Hey, Rizarbiar, thank you for the subscription. You are awesome. your name right there we go oh painting cricks just uh gifted our bizarre vr subscription that was so nice of you darling darling you can use my emotes now you can use my emotes ha 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 wing o2 yeah that was really nice of you painting cricks thank you or, yeah painting cricks thank you for that Nice. Whee! <laughs> That's fun. So, and then again, I'm going to go back and highlight with the lighter color.
lassen. Painting Crooks, what have you been painting lately? Have you been have you been painting Crick? Or have you been painting any war machine at all? Also, did you get a chance? You went to Nova, right? Did you have a good time? He's a silly putty on my model. I like that. outline good I think Looking like he's getting done huh work Look at my drawing one more. Sadly, nothing. Class is starting again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over this year, we're going to go to Japan. Oh, that's so fun. We're going to have to stop by the KDM store and again. A lot of my friends have taken trips to Japan this year. Facebook, a lot of them have been. All right, I see a little bit of white. It's... feathers the side Spider. Right on. A little bit on his body, but that fix it. Go back on it. Olive. That brand. White. Tail feathers. What do you think? Like a spiggity? The eyes are the eyes are bugging me a little bit. Should we try some gloss gloss on them? Collection. Collection. Try this black on top and see. Collect. We might have to throw some dull coat over him.
still drying its drying shine today. Lost the eyes? Okay, let's try it. We can try it. It won't, it definitely won't hurt it because it's going to be, it'd be a glossy eye anyway, right? Vibrant organic life. Gloss. Good. Dries a little milky at first, but then it dry. Or not opaque, clear, dry clear. Got another thing of color on there. I think we need to paint this piece of wood. Let's go with the transparent brown and a little bit of the black. Together. Get a dark brown, umbery color. Perfect. Love that color. How that's because it's transparent, that priming is showing through. Work is hard. Try to get that highlighting and shading because right and it should dry matte because it's not an ink. Good anyway. Love it. Love it. Especially next to that bird. It um, looks very natural, doesn't it? Airbrush is still on. I'm going to turn that off. Not grayscale, it's just the lighting. Yeah. Yeah, the lighting and also the fact that I haven't painted anything else with color yet makes it look like it's all grayscale. But also, it's a black and white bird, so. That will throw you off. Now that we're painting the tree, it should help a lot. Bottom of this tree never got some primers. Go back, find that again. We'll see, or it might just be fine. Black. Add a little bit more black to that. Go. Because it's not an E, adhering to the part that's not even primed that well, just fine. You know what's cool about this, this part of the mini is that it was probably an actual, it probably wasn't sculpted, probably an actual piece of wood that they then just cast now. You don't have to sculpt everything, to get it to scale. Probably to scale, this bird might be to scale. I don't remember how big chickadees are, but they're not big. Bird might actually be life size. That would be really cool. Give me one second, I will look at chat. Get all of this before it dries and makes any hard lines. I am not looking at That will be, I had to cover up hard lines of this. Part of the model is really rough. Difficult to paint, so rough. A lot of texture to try to get down into. 
Again, that goes back to it being actual wood that they cast. At least that's what it looks like. I could be totally wrong. This guy might be... He's, I know he is a fantastic sculptor, but... All right. See that color at all. Let me see if I can adjust just the color real quick. Right, but bright, bright. Closure. Right. Does look to scale, yeah it is. about right in life. Nice dark brown browns. Hey, it is nine o'clock. We made it with many snafus, but we made it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put my music. I'm gonna go to our end credit things. Okay, I love you guys. Let's find somebody awesome to host and I will be hopefully back Friday with more of this model to paint. Maybe some more Kingdom Death would depend. So I might go back and forth. I don't know yet. Um, I obviously have to find that wing. Find that wing, what I'm gonna do. But let's see who is on. It is Wednesday night. Go with your fresh shoes, go with your pain. Crocodile is on, but he's crazy playing. Yes, Crocodile is on. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and raid Crocodile. Good, good bloke from Australia. And by the way, I threw you a link to the geckos. Awesome, thank you. I'll take a look. Appreciate that. All right, we're gonna raid. Crocodile, here we go. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Mason Point Raid? Hmm. Oh, let me pull off my gloves. That might help. Hi, Rizarbiar. There we go. We're going to raid Crocodile. Go to their channel. Oh, it even links it for me now. The bot's awesome. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you Friday. Bye.